welcome back okay so today it's going to be another shop my stash it's that time again and so you guys know for my shop my stash i just kind of go through all of the items that i've been using for my last shop my stash give you my thoughts and then we go shopping for some new stuff so yeah i'm kind of tired of using this stuff and ready for some new stuff <laughs> so yeah let's go ahead and just jump right into it so today I'm sitting here, you know, at my little area drawer where I keep my uh, daily makeup stash. And I'm just going to go ahead and run through right quick. I don't think I'm going to go too in depth because a lot of this stuff I've talked about before. But if it's something new, then I will give some more in depth thoughts. But let's just start out with my foundations and concealers that I have here because I have um, them out of the drawer already. So, you guys know I did pick my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This stuff is so nice, you guys. It's like, I don't have a bad thing to say about it. It's so nice. I love this foundation. It looks so good whenever I use it, and I just love it. I use the shade Sandalwood, 6W1 Sandalwood. I do have um, some new foundation that I want to try out, though, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back. And anything that I'm putting back, I'm just putting it in this um, this container over here so I can easily put it back. Okay, I also pulled my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. I use the shade Cappuccino. This is one of my absolute favorite drugstore foundations. Love this stuff. I just don't like the pump because it can get clogged and get a little tricky, but I love this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back as well. Next, I have my Uma Beauty, and you guys, I'm realizing that the more I use the Uma Beauty foundation, the more I really like it. <laughs> I don't know. I just like the finish. I like the color. You know, it's not that often you get a foundation where you just really like the shade for yourself. It's so hard for us to match, but I really, really like this Say What foundation. Now, I do typically mix two of their shades, but this time I just picked this one, and it worked out just fine. This is the brown sugar t1n so that's the shade that i use if you can see that there and but like i said occasionally i mix this with a darker shade and it's just absolutely perfect but even with using this after i put my powder and contour and all that stuff on it looks just fine so i really really like it it's super watery but i like this foundation i'm kind of like wanting to keep it but i'm gonna go ahead and put it back since i have new ones to try and then if the new ones don't work out i might go back and get this back out for my concealers you guys know i always have my <laughs> juvie's place that just stays in my drawer no matter what that does not come out this last shot my stash i tried this jcat stay assurance concealer i'd used it before and you know it's i've been having like a tricky time with concealers lately and i think it's because I like the Juvia's so much that I compare everything to it, and if it's not just like Juvia's or better, I'm like, eh, it's just okay. But this is actually a really, really good concealer. The coverage is nice. The shade is nice for, you know, just a slight brightening for me, and it just, I like it, actually. I like it a lot, so I think I'm going to go ahead and put this back, though, because I do want to use a different concealer for the next couple of weeks just to give this one a break. Okay, so next I have here my tray with my moisturizers, primers, setting spray, you know, stuff like that. Now, um, I did go ahead and throw a couple of my little sample moisturizers in here because I noticed that I was starting to get quite a bit or quite a few more like baby samples and stuff and I really want to use them up because after a while they just end up everywhere so I have in here this Bobbi Brown extra illuminating moisture balm this stuff is really nice but it does illuminate you it has like a little bit of a gold kind of a gold hue to it <laughs> let me see if I can show you I don't know if it'll show up oop, on the camera but it does kind of create a bit of a golden illuminating sheen on your skin when you use it I don't know if you can see that but 
yeah it does so it doesn't bother me because you know it just kind of adds a nice little extra bit of glow um it smells a little funny i don't really care for the smell that much but you know it's not a big deal and then i also have in here this life fresh hydrating sorbet cream from dior this is really really nice very nice moisturizer so i'm just trying to use those up i did pick this glow recipe watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer for my last shot my stash i really like this stuff very very nice light moisturizer for your skin not heavy at all it has a really nice soft watermelon scent so i do like that about it but i'm going to put this back because i am going to try something new out along with my little sample moisturizers that i'm trying to use up so this is going back um see what else i've been using my elemis pro collagen rose face oil for the last month or so i think maybe even longer than a month and as you can see there's still quite a bit in there i use a very very small amount just because I don't like my face to feel too oily. This stuff is really, really nice. I like it a lot. So I'm going to keep that. Um, I have my e.l.f. Je Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I've been using this for the last couple of weeks as well. I already like this. I know I like it. Um, this is the little miniature one that I got in a kit. So I'm about halfway done, it looks like. Um, I'm going to put this back because I do have... Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to put this back because I do want to use um, a primer that I haven't used for a while. So I'm going to put this back. Now this Nika K 24 Karat Gold Face Primer, it says hydrate and illuminate. Now what I will say about this primer is that, uh, gosh, I don't even know. I, I really don't know. It's It has kind of like, I don't know if you can see that. You see that? kind of reminds me like of snail snail slime which I don't know how I feel about that <laughs> I didn't really notice it initially when I you know rub some on my hand but it takes a little bit of rubbing you know to get it to rub in the little gold flecks I don't know if you can see them they don't really bother me they're really small but and it doesn't smell like anything to me it does absorb into the skin nicely. As far as the actual primer, mm, I don't know. The jury's still out. I'm going to have to use it a bit more to figure that out. But that whole kind of like snail slimy thing kind of gets me when I put it on. It's, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. But I don't really have anything bad to say about it. I can't say, oh, it stinks. It's horrible. It doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. I just need to use it some more um but it's kind of cool though it is it's kind of cool i love the packaging <laughs> but i'm gonna put this back like i said i want to try a different primer for a little while but yeah as you can see it absorbs into the skin very nicely i would say it's more of a moisturizer than a primer but that's just because you know i feel like it totally absorbs into the skin now i do have this good molecules discoloration correcting serum i've been using this for quite a while now i'm only about maybe a quarter done just about a quarter down so i'm going to keep using this because you know it's one of those things where you got to use it for a while to actually see a difference so I'm going to keep that. And then for setting spray, I've been using my Ciate London Everyday Vacay. I like this stuff, you guys. It smells really good. I mean, it sets my makeup just fine. And I like the mister. I think the mister is a really nice mister. It's not too harsh or strong. And it, it gets all over your face. You know, it doesn't just spurt in one area. So I do like that. So I think I'm going to keep this in my drawer for a little while longer. I said I wasn't gonna talk a lot and I feel like I've just been <laughs> completely running my mouth. Okay, so powders. Now, this kind of makes me a little bit sad, this uh, J-Cat Aqua Assurance Powder. If you guys remember, I've already used this before and I love it. I love this powder. It's, um, 
a compact foundation and this one is the shade espresso the one that i used the first time uh it's a shade just lighter than this i can't remember the name of it but i love it love it love it love it i got this darker one just to see if i would like it too and i actually do but i accidentally cracked it and so i'm kind of bummed out i don't know if you can see that but yeah it's like all cracked up over here and it's my own fault i know exactly how i did it you know how when you're using your powder brush and you kind of swirl it in there and then you tap it off on the edge of the container you just tap your brush off to get the excess when I did that I guess I did it too hard and it cracked it so I'm really bummed out I hate using broken makeup and I really don't want to repress this so I'm probably gonna buy me a new one <laughs> <laughs> just because I don't like using broken makeup so yeah I like it that much that I'm going to buy me a new one and it's affordable too I think it's like 13 bucks for this whole you know compact so yeah I'm going to go ahead and replace that but I love this stuff love it a lot I also pulled my Too Faced Born This Way this is the multi-use complexion powder and spiced rum you guys know I have hit major pan on this I really like this powder. It just looks really good on my skin. It fits my complexion perfectly, sets my face nicely. So I'm going to keep this, even though I'm going to pull something else, I'm going to keep that because that is kind of like my backup powder. Whenever something is going awry or I'm not really feeling a powder, that usually fixes it. <laughs> so I'm going to keep that in there. I also pulled my Becca Hydra Mist um, setting powder. This is the loose powder and i have the shade golden bronze absolute favorite powder of mine loose powder i really love setting my concealer with this but ever since it kind of lost its cooling effect you know the hydra mist thing it's i don't feel the same way it doesn't give me the same feels when i use it it's not as exciting and enjoyable <laughs> so even though it still works great as a powder I'm going to put it back because I'm not really feeling the whole excitement of using it. So I'm going to use something else for a while. For bronzer, I went ahead and used my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer that my girl Lily got for me for my birthday. Leo gang. Hey, gang, gang, gang. <laughs> so yeah, for my birthday, Lily bought me this along with a million other things but this bronzer oh my gosh it's so amazing i don't know if you guys i need to move the light i don't think i have enough light for you guys but this bronzer is so bomb okay very very nice um am i keeping it uh, yeah i think i'm gonna keep this for a few more weeks because it's really nice so yeah i'm gonna keep this in my drawer i also pulled this uma this is one of their double take sticks number three i guess yeah and so this is the one you know that has the bronzer or contour uh, on one end and then it has the illuminator on the other i never used this you guys i never even pulled it i'm not really a big cream contour blush bronzer type of chick so i have to force myself to use stuff like this um so i'm gonna go ahead and keep it in my drawer just in case you know i decide to go ahead and use it but i never even used it for mascaras i did pull my essence super curl as well as my maybelline lash discovery and the super curl i know i like it works i've really just been putting mascara on my lower lashes because i have been wearing falsies more so i haven't really been you know tripping off of my upper lashes but it's been working very nicely for my lower lashes so yeah i like it but i'm gonna go ahead and try something else now for this maybelline lash discovery because i was using the essence so much i didn't use this one um hardly i maybe used it once or twice and it worked fine but i still just i don't know <laughs> I, I don't know yet how i feel about it i need to focus on this in order to really gather an opinion so yeah it must be something about it that's not really floating my boat but i'm going to keep this in my drawer just so that i can use it more to develop a better opinion but the essence will go back now for eyeshadow primers, you guys know I always keep my P. Louise base close by. This stuff is bomb. 
it works <laughs> you know it never does me wrong so i always keep this in my drawer i pulled the pretty vulgar and when i used it i felt like it was sticky for some reason when i used it when i used it before it was just fine never felt sticky but the last time that i used it it felt sticky to me but i'm gonna put this back and because i have another one in mind that i'm thinking about using i also pulled this mac paint pot it's in soft ochre i used to use this all the time you guys this stuff is bomb.com it works amazingly i haven't used it in a while um I think I pulled it just for a specific look that I was doing and I wanted to use it. So I'm just going to keep this in my drawer. I might use it, I might not, but I'm going to keep it in my drawer for now. Now, why didn't you guys tell me that I was pulling so many blushes, so many highlights? <laughs> I'm like, what is all this stuff? I don't even remember pulling all this stuff. I think I had some stuff left over in my drawer from my previous shop, my stash, and I added to it because this, this is a lot. I know I do a lot, but this is this is more than I normally do. Now I have in here this Morphe Face Palette. This is the 8D. And funny enough, I used this in my previous shop, my stash. Oh my gosh, fell in love with it beautiful absolutely gorgeous and never even used it for this shop my stash just because I was focused on other things but this palette is really nice but I'm gonna go ahead and put it away because I don't want it to just get lost in this drawer for now I want to be able to pull it again later so I'm gonna put this away and pull something else now I also still had my two Nika K blush palettes in here this one is the red glam absolutely gorgeous and this one is the very berry both of these palettes super duper affordable absolutely gorgeous let me open it up because the glare is just it's too much for my liking so these are the two palettes the red one and the berry one so so pretty you guys i don't know if um you know the camera is going to be able to pick up how gorgeous they are but i'm going to put these two back as well because i got some pretty good use out of these so i'm going to go ahead and try something else you guys i'm telling you i pulled way too much blush i pulled this beauty trees matte blush and contour collection kit never even used it i'm sitting here trying to figure out like what did i use but i know what i used <laughs> but this is really nice uh but I'm gonna put it back, I'm gonna put it back. I'm gonna try to kind of minimize my options for the next couple of weeks. Now this here, I stuck this little Sydney Grace <laughs> logo on here so I would know what's in here. This is actually a single shadow of a Sydney Grace blush. My girl DJ gave me some Sydney Grace shadows um, as one of my birthday gifts and it also had this beautiful, beautiful kind of like um shimmery what is it like magenta plum colored type blush this is a shade pink raz and i actually use this like as a blush slash highlight you know because i don't typically do the whole shimmery type blushes and you know this one definitely has a sheen to it but it looks so so pretty when I put it on my cheeks, it was just absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, this is one of the blushes that I used quite a bit over the last couple of weeks. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one back. Sheesh, I got too much stuff to talk about. This is my Fenty Cream Blush in the shade Daiquiri Dip. Super gorgeous, super bright blush. Um, I thought I was going to use this more than I did. I did not use this at all. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put this back for now. This is my Minted Buried Away. This is one of my favorite blushes, you guys. Hands down, one of the most beautiful, beautiful blush shades for women of color. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. And Minted Blushes are the bomb. So yeah, I love this blush. I'm going to go ahead and put this one away. I have a tendency to grab this <laughs> out of my drawer whenever I don't have a blush that I want to wear. This is one that I grab a lot. 
Also for blush, I pulled this Folklore Sunkissed. I actually think that this was like still in my Shop My Stash from my previous one because I don't remember pulling this. I might have though. This one has more of like the peachy colored blush along with the golden toned Illuminate Illuminator to go along with the blush, you know, kind of like shimmery blush topper. And I did not use this every single time I wanted to use it or I reached for it it didn't match my eye look or what I was doing with my face so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back lastly um, one of the items that had blush in it that I used quite a bit is this makeup geek face palette that I have this one is one that I absolutely love the blush the contour and the highlight absolutely gorgeous on the skin i hate that this is like not available anymore i don't know if she's gonna bring anything like this back but this is just so bomb for women of color i really wish it was still in stock but i haven't been able to see it in stock but i love this thing but i'm gonna put her back i don't want my drawer to be so full this week now this I used, this is my Iman Compact and it's called, what is it called? Afterglow Sheer Finish Bronzing Powder. But of course, this is not a bronzer for me. I purchased this to use it for the blush shade and use this as highlight. And you guys, I was really, really surprised. I kind of like mixed these two together. And you know, when I put it on my cheeks, it was so pretty it's just like a nice soft glow I don't know if you can see that but yeah it's just a nice soft glow so so pretty and then this blush shade is really pretty as well I just hate that it's such a small you know little sliver that you have to get into I don't know if you can see that but you know just kind of like a shimmery type blush very pretty so yeah I really really like this a lot very very nice as a subtle highlight yeah i begin makeup all over the place and be wondering like where did all this makeup come from <laughs> duh okay i also pulled this nabla skin glazing in the shade lucent jungle these nabla highlighters ugh, gorgeous absolutely gorgeous okay did i use this I did. I did. I used this maybe once or twice. It's beautiful, but I'm going to put it back because I already know I want to use something else. And you guys, I was going through like one of my random drawers has like some single shadows and I was kind of like decluttering. And I came across this L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow and it's in the shade Amber Rush. And, you know, I was just watching stuff to see if I wanted to keep it, give it away, trash it, whatever. And when I swatched this, which I'm probably not going to be able to get a good swatch because I have nails on. But when I swatched this eyeshadow, I was like, oh my gosh, that is a gorgeous shade of highlight <laughs> you know because i was just gonna get rid of it and i was like you know what i can repurpose this and use it as a highlighter i like that idea so i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and repurpose it so i threw it in my drawer just so i wouldn't forget about it it's really small doesn't take up much space so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just leave this in my drawer to play around with as a highlighter y'all let me know what y'all think but i think it's pretty okay so these are all the lipsticks that i pulled in my last shot my stash if you watched it then you know i pulled a bunch of lipsticks and swatched them all because i want to force myself to use my lipsticks more because i really don't use them and i did use about six of these lipsticks so i'm very proud of myself i'm going to keep these lipsticks out i'm not going to put them back because i do want to try and use all of them over the next couple of weeks before i switch them out so i am going to keep these lipsticks so these are all the items that i'm going to be putting back so now let's go shop okay you guys so now i'm over here in my little area where i keep my primers and 
setting sprays and things like that it's a little bit crazy over here right now but i decided i wanted to go ahead and actually use something i haven't used for a while i mean when i first used this stuff i fell in love with it the elf poreless putty primer and it was like one of my favorites i haven't used it in so long so i'm gonna go ahead and pull this so i can try it out get myself reacquainted see if i still like it i also decided to choose another <laughs> old favorite to play with this no problem primer from touch and soul when i first used this first got it in uh, my subscription box fell in love with it, it must have been boxy charm and i actually purchased it two more times since then and i have a backup <laughs> so yeah i want to go ahead and use this again this stuff is really really good you guys like it a lot okay so like i was saying earlier i know i had some items that i just picked up and that or i just received and i wanted to try out one of which being this milk vegan milk moisturizer now i did have a sample of this that i got a little tiny sample from sephora and i was like oh my gosh this stuff is bomb but i didn't want to pay the price for it so my sister gave me a gift card to sephora for my birthday so i said well what better time then the present to go ahead and try this out so i went ahead and grabbed one of these so i want to use this also over here i have a couple of new foundations that i picked up from ulta this is smith and colt see if i can get it to focus okay so i added a little bit of light see if i can help it focus a little bit but this is from smith and colt this is the veiled threat weightless micro blurring foundation this stuff was on sale for like four dollars or something like that i know it was super cheap to get me to try it because i never heard of it and i was like oh, okay well they have a a few variation and shades for me to choose from so i want to go ahead and try this out what shade did i get oh the box is right here so i got 430 neutral so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and try this out I also grabbed one of the Juvia's Shade Sticks because these were on sale at Ulta as well. And I got the shade Guinea. So yeah, I'm going to try this out. So that's going to be it for foundation. I'm not going to pull anything else. Now, I know I mentioned that I did want to select... Um, another eyeshadow primer for this shot my stash and this is one that i got along with an eyeshadow palette that my girl lily bought for me this is the anastasia beverly hills eye primer have never tried it i know a lot of people tried it out and fell in love with it so i'm going to try this one out this week Okay, so let's go ahead and pick out a mascara. Even though I did keep the little skinny Maybelline one, I do want to grab one more to try. So I think I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. This one is Too Faced Damn Girl for shamelessly thick and curled lashes. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try this out. Hopefully the wand is not too huge for my lower lashes. You guys know how that is, but I'm going to go ahead and try this out. Okay, so for blush, it's going to be super duper easy this week because I did get this brand new OPV Born to Shine blush palette <laughs> in my trend move box oh my gosh you guys this blush palette is so gorgeous and there's so many blushes in here honey that is all that i need <laughs> for the next week or two so we're gonna go ahead and pull this for highlighter, I also already know what I want to use for highlighter. I got this in my trend mood box as well. This is from a company called Zodiac Cosmetics. It is a beautiful loose highlighter. You can see it there called Zeus. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play with this loose highlighter. I also think I'm going to pull this Essence Pure Nude Sunlighter Palette. Um, I don't know if I've used this yet. I know I swatched it but I'm not sure if I actually used it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this. Next up, we need a concealer. So let's just take a look at these concealers. Part of me wants to use my e.l.f. concealers because <laughs> I haven't used my e.l.f. concealers in a long time. At least I don't think so. Um, I have here, you know, the hydrating camo and the regular camo, so 
yeah why don't we just make it a elf concealer type of week <laughs> and I will just pull both of these okay mm -hmm. do I have the same shade for both of these deep cinnamon yep deep cinnamon for both and it's funny because they look like two different colors but yeah they're both deep cinnamon okay for bronzer I do have that Charlotte Tillsbury bronzer so do I want to pull another bronzer you guys or do I want to just keep it simple uh, I haven't used my revolution bronzers in a while let me take a peek oh yeah and when I got these bronzers oh I fell in love with them this one is so rich rich and deep nice for a contour this one is deep and this one is dark Ooh. Ah, you know what I think I am going to go ahead and pull these <laughs> for an extra bronzer and contour yeah I'm gonna go ahead and pull these too okay you guys let's pull a loose powder um it's funny the other day i was looking at my pretty vulgar if i can get this out i was looking at this pretty vulgar because lord knows i can't remember the last time i used this this is what is it translucent yeah translucent setting powder uh do i want to try this out yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pull this i'm gonna try this out like i said i can't remember the last time i used this so let's go ahead and pick uh, a pressed powder. Okay guys, so you know this e.l.f., this is actually a finishing powder. And let's see here, yeah, it is a finishing powder in the shade Dark Deep. So let me take a look at this. I know I bought this to try it out, but I only remember swatching it. I don't remember actually using it. That actually looks like a really nice shade of finishing powder for me. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this. And I do want another just like setting powder, you know, for my face. I always like to have like a setting powder or a powder foundation. This one from Kiss I know works really well for me. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this. What shade is this? Toffee Caramel. Yeah, I got this from my local beauty supply for what looks like seven something. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this. I know this is really good. Okay, you guys, so I just wanna quickly share some of the palettes that I'm excited about this week. This one is the Sweet Pinks by Juvia's Place. One of her newest little mini palettes that she came out with. Look how gorgeous this palette is, you guys. Those shimmers in there look so, so pretty. So I'm really excited about this. Hopefully I will get around to using it. Next, I have this new Ace Beauté Nostalgia palette. <laughs> I did go ahead and do a swatch video of this palette on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, it's the same Colorful Camille. If you wanna check out some of my you know things that I post on Instagram I'm still kind of getting my feet wet with swatches and videos and stuff like that so yeah but if you want to see some swatches of this palette check my Instagram but I love 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 the color story of this it had to grow on me because at first I was like eh, pinks purples you know green meh. but the more I look at it it's just it's really really pretty it's gorgeous and the swatches I think really made me fall in love with this palette also i have my nomad orient express you guys look at this packaging <laughs> look at this packaging oh my gosh it's like that like puffy velvet okay i don't even know can you see that it's like the puffy velvet packaging okay so very cool i love 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 it but this is the Orient Express from Nomad Cosmetics. I also posted swatches of this on my Instagram if you're curious. But yeah, I'm really excited to use this palette as well. Next, I have my Tiny Marvels palette. This is the Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson collab palette. I said I wasn't going to grab this just because of the fact that you guys can obviously see the palette is not one that has the depth and brightness of color that I look for, but you know, I love supporting my fellow YouTubers. And so I did go ahead and grab this. 
And honestly, looking at the different looks that have been done and swatches and things, I'm like, you know, I think it'll be really fun to play in this beautiful lavender and this gorgeous green shade and the Sydney Grace formula. I just tried out Sydney Grace for the first time recently. It's amazing. <laughs> so yeah, just the formula alone makes me want to try it out. So yeah, I'm excited about this palette as well. And lastly, I have here my Morphe 35C Everyday Chic palette. This is another palette that I kind of looked at and was like, meh. <laughs> but after I looked at it a little bit more and then saw it in person and then, you know, it was kind of like, oh my gosh, wait a minute, that's kind of cute. So yeah, it's not the super bright, colorful palette, but I do like the tone of this palette and the colors that are in here. You know, they're a bit unique, a little bit more cool tone shades in here. So yeah, I like this palette and I actually really want to try it out. So this is it you guys for this week's shop my stash i have all of my items put away and my palettes and my lip products so thank you so much for hanging out with me to choose this week's items let me know down in the comments what you think about my choices <laughs> if you feel like i should have chose something else but anyways thanks so much for watching you guys and i will see you on my next video Toodles.